Lion's Den FX. Stay informed with our latest market update as we dive into the recent developments impacting the US markets. We explore the early market closure on Monday and the full day closure on Tuesday, highlighting the limited anticipated news that could potentially drive stock movement. Last week, all three indexes saw positive gains as the initial estimate of economic growth for the first quarter was upgraded from 1.3% to 2%. This boosted investor confidence, and coupled with gradual easing of price pressures according to the Fed's preferred inflation measure, the market maintained a bullish momentum. Strong investor sentiment suggests that significant negative news would be needed to derail the market. In terms of other assets, the price of oil experienced a 1.4% rebound, reaching $70.45 per barrel, driven by hopes of stronger economic growth and increased energy demand. While concerns about a recessionary impact on oil demand persist, the market should fare well if the US avoids a severe economic downturn. Gold on the other hand, remained flat at $1,927 per ounce last week, as higher interest rates serve as a cost for holding gold in a portfolio. As interest rates continue to rise and fears of a recession diminish, gold is likely to face downward pressure. Among the 11 stock sectors, six closed higher last week, with notable winners and losers. The technology sector, which has been a leading component of the S&P 500 and the bull market this year, experienced a 1.9% decline. However, it's worth noting that only 20 out of the 65 stocks in the sector ended lower, suggesting the decline may not be as negative as it initially appears. Monitoring the technology sector is crucial, as prolonged weakness could hinder overall market growth. Despite the rebound in oil prices, stocks in the energy sector also declined. Real estate stocks might not be favorable at the moment, but there are indications of a potential turnaround. The sector recorded a 0.43% loss in the first half of the year and a 25% loss last year. However, with anticipated higher interest rates and potential troubles in commercial property, this year may be another challenging one for the sector. Nonetheless, investors should keep real estate investment trusts REITs, on their radar. After the 2008 crash, REITs emerged as the top performing subgroup of stocks in five of the next six years. If the Fed lowers interest rates next year, it could serve as a catalyst for the sector's recovery, and investors would want to be positioned accordingly. Overall, while the market remains strong and positive, it's important to closely monitor economic indicators and asset performance to make informed investment decisions. We turn our attention to the release of the previous Fed meeting minutes on Wednesday, which are expected to reveal discussions among members who favored raising rates in June instead of pausing. These minutes should confirm the persistent warnings from Fed members and Chair Powell about inflation surpassing targets and the likelihood of interest rate increases, potentially happening once or even twice more this year. Furthermore, we examine how higher inflation and robust economic growth have influenced the market's expectations regarding interest rates. Just a few months ago, investors anticipated multiple rate cuts as early as November. However, according to the CME Fed Watch tool, the market now projects only one rate hike in July, with no cuts expected until March 2024. While concerns of a potential recession linger, investors have found some comfort in the notion that an end to rate hikes may be sufficient, especially with stocks posting a 16% increase in the first half of the year. Nonetheless, caution persists among investors who fear a potential downturn. The highlight of the week will be the eagerly awaited U.S. employment report on Friday. Expectations are set at 240,000 jobs created last month, compared to the previous month's 339,000. We anticipate the unemployment rate to remain around 3.7% and anticipate hourly wages to rise at a year-over-year -year rate of 4.2%, slightly lower than the previous month's 4.3% pace. With unexpectedly strong job market performance, expectations for the month remain conservative. Friday's report is likely to reveal another robust increase in jobs, as long as hourly wages do not exceed a significant rise above 4.3%. Additionally, we provide a glimpse into the upcoming earnings announcements scheduled for this week. On Thursday, watch out for Levi Strauss and Simulations Plus, while AS is scheduled for Friday. Stay ahead of the game by keeping track of these essential market updates and make informed decisions for your investments. Subscribe to Lions Den FX for insightful Forex, crypto, and stock trading videos, news updates, vlogs, educational content, trade ideas, and much more.
Together, let's navigate the dynamic world of financial markets and embark on a rewarding trading journey. Thanks for watching. Lion's Den FX